Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach Hampson, and today I'm gonna to do a brief overview about how I clean my oil painting brushes. So you can see that I'm in a different location right now. I'm currently in the kitchen, a little bit echoey, sorry about that. Let's go over the things that I use and uh, don't use anymore uh, to clean my brushes. All right, so the main thing I used to use was in fact just, you know, regular odorless uh, solvent, so mineral spirits. Uh, but the odorless solvent one, so it doesn't pump up my nose. It still affects you, just not the smell so much. This, you know, kind of chews through your paintbrush fibers uh, quite quickly. Uh, and what I mean, just makes them sort of really brittle. Um, it sort of just like wears it down a lot quicker. It's just really, it's just really hard on the fibers of your paintbrushes. So this is just something I don't use anymore, uh, mainly because of the health. Things. It's not, you know, I try not to use this at all for anything but like staining my paintings, like staining the canvases and stuff. That's the, that's what I use it for now. That's the only thing I use it for now. So after that, I moved on to just a regular bar of soap, just a hot water bar of soap and swishing it around on the bar. And uh, that, that does help. It, it's good. It's good. It works well um, cleaning off your brushes and stuff. Um, but over time, the more you start to use these brushes constantly, the buildup sort of gets to it, you know, inevitably, you know, and and the, the constant like tough scrubbing, even though like you can be really mindful about it and stuff like that. It's, it's just a long, tedious process that does clean it quite well, but just not that great and takes like, it's not that great for the amount of time that you put in. Let's put it that way. So what I do use now is actually this stuff called Incredible Brush Cleaner by Chroma. See that? Oh, it's all back to front. But yeah, this is uh, this is what I use now. Um, this shit is great. This stuff is amazing. It's really, really great stuff. Uh, whether you've got old brushes or brushes you just stop, you just like put down from painting with, um, it works great across the board. Like this stuff, um, it just really gets into the pores, into the fibers of the brush itself and really, really cleans out, like just strips the paint away from fibers, uh, from both new and old brushes. And it does that in a way that isn't like so detrimental to the fibers itself, like I said, with the mineral spirits or the odorless solvent. This stuff just does it so nicely and just effortlessly is just great stuff. I'm gonna show you the process that I use this and uh, that I go through to clean my brushes. All right, so all you need to get into cleaning your brushes with the chroma is just, you know, put it into a little bowl. This is what I do. You can um, put it into a more so a jar or something and put a little mesh thing above it where the um, the uh, bits of paint can sink below and you still have fresh um, brush cleaner there to use so you don't have to tip it out and throw it out every time that you use it. So that is another way. Um, I don't have that so I just, I just use a bowl and stuff and I don't much mind uh, paying for this stuff because it's great stuff. I'm getting, I'm gonna get a liter of this stuff next time uh, this bottle runs out. Um, so we need just a bowl, fill it up. You don't need much in there, you know, just a little bit uh, will do the trick because it is really strong stuff. And you can see just a little bit will cover all these brushes like effortlessly, it's, it, it'll be more than enough. Uh, and then just some like warm water uh, will be great too. So I do have a mix of older brushes and brushes that I just put down from painting with uh, that I've sort of wiped off with linseed oil. So they're a bit cleaner than normal. Then these ones are just like some older ones that I don't regularly use. So they're a bit stiff. Uh, I just want to see if I can get some flex to them and some movement to them and have these, uh, you know, you can see how it's got a bit of dried off paint at the end there stuff like that. I just want to see how that goes with uh, stripping that off. So just run the water. You don't need it scaldingly hot. You just want it a little bit warm. Oh, paper towels too. You need paper towels. Just run the water. You don't want it too hot. Nice and warm. Run your brush through that first a little bit, just so it can get some movement into it, what I like to do. <clears throat> Now start to run it through the uh, brush cleaner, you know. I like to swish it around 
on the uh, paper towel. It gets a bit more soapy there. Um, so that's what I like to do, swish it around there till it gets a bit soapy there. So that I know that the brush cleaner has worked its way all the way through it. Then I like to wash it out, wash the brush cleaner out of there. Swish it around here. Now this is just a long filbert, so I like to have mine like nice and like puffy like this anyways. So it's not a big big deal for me uh, doing it like this. With the other brushes that are nice and flat, obviously you want to keep, you don't want to push against the grain. Uh, you want to keep them nice and flat like that. So don't push against the, uh, push against the fibers or anything. But like I was saying, once it's washed out, get that water out of it. Pull against that, and then I just reapply. And I uh, do those steps over and over again till I am happy with how the uh, how the brush is looking. Now you can see I've kind of just left this brush, you know, out for a little bit. It's um, it's a bit stiffer than what it usually would be. Um, so let's see how much movement I can get back to this one. For these ones, I try and keep that nice fluid motion. I'm not pushing against the grain. Just keep that nice, like, that pull sort of motion. You want to pull it, you don't want to push it. You want to just pull, 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 pull. So we're not pushing against those fibers. Alright, so you can see that I got so much more movement into that brush and that all those fibers there. It's like they were brand. It's like they're brand new, really. That's what they feel like. You know, they're a little bit. It's just stained. You know, you can't avoid that, especially uh, if the uh, color of the uh, of the fibers is white. <laughs> it's just that stained color, but it just feels like a brand new brush. Honestly, it's just so much movement to it, so much flex to it, so much bounce to it. Yeah, it's great. It just cleans the brushes so nice. So now I've got one of these older brushes. Uh, you can see it's quite solid in movement, you know, there's not a lot of bounce or anything to it. Um, I'm going to see how how it fares with uh, putting it through the brush cleaner a little bit, working it out a little bit, seeing how that goes. Like we can already see, you can see that a lot of that... Um, that dirt or that solid paint is already starting to come out of the brush despite how old it is. So you can see there's a lot more bounce to the brush now. Um, I'm going to leave it in this soap just to soak a little bit while I go clean the other ones. Just because there's a little bit of uh, leftover harder paint just in those top fibers there. But damn, it's cleaned it so well. There's so much more bounce to it. I love it. All right, I'll put that down, let that soak, move on to the next filter. So this one's a little bit bigger. You can see there's like <clears throat> no bounce and I'm pressing really quite hard. Like there's a little bit of bounce at the very tip, but the main body of that fibers there is quite hard and, 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 uh, and uh, stiff. So I'm gonna work this a little bit and uh, try and get it to that as much bounce as that other fill bit got. Let's see how it goes.
So you can see there's so much more bounce and movement to this brush than there was previously. It's just it's just really gone into those pores and and stripped away all that hard older paint and uh, it's just made it really nice to use. I, again, I still think I'll just let it soak in some of the uh, in some of the brush cleaner like this one here and uh, just let it sit there for a little bit. So another older, dirtier filbert. Quite, it's not so stiff. It's got a little bit of bounce to it. I feel like this one will be a lot easier to clean. It's just got a lot of, uh, you know, dried up paint into it. Now, look at that. So much more bounce to it. You know, so much more life to it. it just moves about. In fact, this is one of the brushes I've had for almost three years. Granted, it's not a very regularly used one, uh, so it only needed a little bit of a cleanup. But oh, so much more bounce to it. Feels so much softer already. Um, I'm quite happy with how this is. All right, so I won't bore you with showing you every single brush and every single clean of it. I think you understand. I think you get the gist of the brush cleaning process. Um, making all these brushes look like brand new to feel like brand new. Honestly, couldn't be happier with uh, this find and using this brush cleaner stuff by Chroma. It's actually amazing. This is not sponsored, this is nothing, anything. I just found it in the art store and I was like, that sounds a lot better than what I'm doing now. And it just, it's amazing. The results speak for itself. So if you're interested in a brush cleaner and how to clean your oil paints and even your acrylics and stuff like that, I haven't tried it on acrylics, I don't use acrylics, but oil paints and paint brushes for that, old and new, it works amazing. So pick it up, try it out, see how you like it. Leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, hit subscribe on the channel, hit the bell, uh, so you get notified every time I upload. Other than that, I will see you all in the next video.